Aubrey Ashbaugh. Uh, Aubrey is actually the person who organized this and got everything rolling. Uh, she works at the Sheriff's Department uh, in the Kidder Building out on Lima Road, and she felt the county commissioner's office and said, I, I'd really like to try to put together a food drive to help out community departments, would that be okay? And I think we set a record for gaining three affirmative votes from the commissioners <laughs> <laughs> in the record time. Uh, commissioners Bloom and Brown couldn't be here today. They're attending the IACC annual conference in Indianapolis, but uh, Commissioner Peters, who will be going to that conference later today, uh, had some time this morning and uh, he's graciously uh, showed up to show his support and thank you for this effort. I'll let him say a few words. Well, thank you, and thanks for, for starting this. And I'm, I'm happy to be a part of this. Now, as you look nationwide at, at what's going on, I think we're, we're really fortunate in, in this area not to uh, have been put in the place of so many in the country. But I believe that there are still so many people that uh, are unfortunate in this community. And I think we have a community obligation to really try and do what we can for those people. And if it means contributing food to the food bank, then I think that's absolutely uh, essential. Uh, this year, more than ever, we need to do some things. Um, because of the economy, uh, because there are so many more families in need, and there are so many less people who have the ability to provide, a number of us, uh, typically who don't step forward, need to take the opportunity to, to do that. You, know, you, you think of the mother who's trying to uh, clothe her kids and send them off to school, or the, or the father who is trying to provide for his family, let alone buy Christmas presents, um, or, the, or the children who just want to, to, to go to school with a full belly uh, and be like so many of the, of the other kids. Um, that doesn't always happen, and that's a real sad story. So what, what can we do and what are we going to do in, in Allen County? Well, we're going to beat the drum a little bit. Uh, we're going to get people to, to pony up. We're going to get people to contribute to this barrel. In fact, uh, I was going to be the first, but I see something down there, and I will be the second to uh, contribute to the Community uh, Harvest Food Bank uh, in, in the name of shoring up this community and helping those who are a little less fortunate than, uh, than we all are. Uh, would you like to say yeah, tell a little bit about why you thought this was uh, a worthy cause. Well, um, I had the, had the idea one day driving to work, and I thought, you know, we all have jobs here in the county. Obviously, we're county employees, so that means we have a job, and, you know, there are a lot of people that aren't as fortunate as want to be, and I just thought it would be a great idea. Um, I'm a new mom, and I feel like the best thing I can teach my son is to give to others, and I might as well start now while he's young, so. I, I think that's a good point. Uh, we as county employees are are really pretty fortunate. Uh, a lot of municipalities have cut back in terms of employees, have cut budgets, and as for bailouts. Uh, we don't have that situation in Allen County, so uh, I think the employees, as has been the case in the past, will, will show up uh, to help contribute to a worthy cause like this and, and help uh, share some of their good fortune with those in the community. Bill, we appreciate you showing up also. What, what does this kind of thing mean for community partners? Well, it's another example of when I speak in other areas, attending those conferences that talk about Fort Wayne, but part of our name is community. And this community is an outstanding area for the food bank to help you. And as the need grows, the community kicks in, and it's it really exciting and to a point that we have everybody work together to help the people that need help. Uh, we'll have flyers similar to these in color uh, that will be up around the building. There are seven locations uh, here at the auditor's office, also up on the third floor of the Human Resources Department here at the City County Building, uh, plus the other locations mentioned. We're encouraging Allen County employees to contribute, but uh, just as well the general public uh, finds this to be a convenient spot for them to drop, uh, drop off their food. Uh, we welcome them and also our brothers and cities and city government. Uh, if they would like to participate, we would be more than happy for them to, uh, to contribute to this. This will be going on between now and the 18th of December, and uh, we'll let folks know at the end of that period uh, what kind of turnout we have. Uh, and as I said before, I think the county employees have always been there when the, the need is 
um, and I think they'll be there this time again. So we appreciate the media coming out for this, and uh, if you've got any questions, we'll hang around and answer them for you. We'll also send out the press release to you with some of the other information.